most of the air, it's all about the bromance, isn't it? It's about the lads and their friendship. And you guys became friends in real life. So when you watch the show, can you see your own friendship reflected there? Uh, I felt it while we were making it. I can speak to that. Wait, have you, have you, yeah. I haven't seen it yet, right, but I, I did feel it while we were making it. I felt it in a big way. Yeah. Did you see it? I saw it, yeah. I saw no, it but well. I felt okay. it at the time, too, okay. in a big way. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> One of the hardest parts about this job was the, the job finishing and then yeah. Austin leaving. Yeah. And then oh. me coming to LA and trying to hang out with him. And we have. Yeah. We hung out the other Not enough, bro. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> we watched the Golden Groves together the other night. It was really nice. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's really nice to watch it and, and sort of see that and know that no, that is genuine yeah. what you're yeah, 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 seeing yeah. on screen. It was such an instant thing between me and Austin and... Uh, I fell in love with him immediately, and it was a joy going into work. And I know that this is so <laughs> sentimental. I'm so sentimental, but I, I, it really was a beautiful time. And, um, and not just with Austin, but everyone. Everyone really, uh, we all had the, the, the thing where we wanted this to be good, and mm. we wanted to work hard, and, and we wanted to represent these guys in the best way possible. Tell me about the training then, and the sort of, you learned to fly for real, so you could actually do it. How was That's that? exactly right. Yeah, it was incredible. It was... It all started with this boot camp that we did, and I was a bit starstruck by Dale Dye, who led the boot camp, Captain Dale Dye. I'd seen him on the behind the scenes of Saving Private Ryan and Platoon, and, and he, did the, he did Band of Brothers in the Pacific, and so he led the boot camp, and that was everything from the physical elements of things to time in the classroom, learning about the culture at that time, learning about the history of World War II. And then we had time, like you say, in the cockpit, where and that was more led by a pilot that we had named Ty. And he was fantastic and he would drill us for hours. You know, takeoff procedures and landing procedures and emergency procedures. If engine number three is on fire, what do you do? How do you feather the engine and all of that? And so we learned. But at that time, I felt like I could take off and land a B-17. Um, so in an emergency yeah. situation, you're good to have on a plane, right? So you could maybe um, pop in the seat from the pilot. I mean, I, I don't know if it's false confidence, but I really felt that way. Do you still feel like that? I don't know, it's been, I'm, I'm rusty. It was two years ago that we finished this. It was very competitive. No one wanted to be left behind. No one mm. wanted to be the person that didn't know how to land the B-17. Yeah. You know mm. what I mean? Yeah. And speaking of competitions, like, I know that you, you had loads of, like, little competitions. There was a dice game, apparently. There was also the oh, yeah. getting I in the cockpit. About the dice oh, I won the dice game yeah. quite who's, a lot, who's, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jane, thank you for bringing that up, because really, he the won the other one, and we've only been talking about that one. Yeah, right? yeah. Let's, yeah, let's talk about the dice game. Let's talk about We should talk about that dice game, man. Finally, Jane. Yeah, you did have a Thank good, you. you I had a good run. Here to help. Dice. But you yeah. won the, the getting in the cockpit. Well, the, the we're talking about the dice, dice game. game. <laughs> I know, that's more important. <laughs> Why are we talking but about that? <laughs> one, one all. We're all right yeah. here. It's one one, it's one one. He's great at dice and I could, I could get in the plane. I'm lucky and he's nimble. Bike. And what about on bikes? Because obviously we do see this inside, like bike Those race. bikes were rickety. and those bikes are rubbish. So yeah, who's yeah, winning yeah. on that? We don't see Remember a final. The brakes kept going out. That's right. Yeah. There, were, there were, yeah. And then we fell over. We did fall over. Yeah. So is <laughs> it a tie that, on that one? It. Are we saying a tie on that one? Dice, yeah. cockpit, tie on the bikes. I, I'd like to say a tie uh, on the bikes. Yeah. yeah okay. Whatever. Okay. Are <laughs> um, there any other games? I'm sure. I don't know. And he did a lot of pottery whilst we were filming. That's three, that's three two. Yeah. Nightmare. And you, you gave me an ashtray at the end. You did beautiful. beautiful. That's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's delightful. Um, let's talk about <laughs> romance. Uh, you get, like, real women, you get Meatball the dog to slow dance with. How was that? It, well, he was a wonderful slow dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, heavier than you would imagine. We don't tell him that. Yeah, don't tell him. Um, but <laughs> he, was, uh, he was very, very cosy. Yeah. 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 Meatball's one of the best actors I've ever worked with. And, um, he was so committed. authentic. Yeah, yeah always. Committed. I never saw a false moment no. from him. Always Did sounded like a dog. Though? He didn't have to. He's he just, just came. He did bark yeah. camp. Um, so all sort of joking aside, how did you get into that mindset? And is that like mind blowing to actually think about that? I mean, the bravery of, of going up each time, knowing that mm -hmm. at, at certain points, that only 23% of you would make it back. It, it is, it's just um, astounding to me. It really is. The, they were so incredibly brave. Well, it's an honor to represent them because of that, you know? And like, yeah. these guys saved the world. They really did, and like we wouldn't be here in this capacity if it wasn't for them. I loved the precision of this show and how accurate everything is. You know, people going down and on missions that actually happened. You know, and uh, 
Austin was talking about knowing what happens in the plane and having to have this history and, 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 and the precision. And I guess that matched their precision bombing. Mm -hmm. is, that's what they were setting out to do. It was really an extraordinary um, experience because of that, you know, that level of detail. Yeah. And did you, either of you, sort of meet any of the families whilst you were doing this? I mean, I know I think you met them at the no. premiere recently, yeah, but you premiere, didn't. And yeah. was that because yeah. you wanted to just base the character on what you read in the script rather mm. than go on someone else's idea? Yeah, really? and the research that you do solo, I don't like to meet anyone and have, you know, even if it's a, a character in a book, you know, someone could have an idea and change your idea. And there's an abundance of information about these guys mm. that you can draw from. Austin, you're obviously living here for a year whilst you're doing this. What was it like being amongst guys who could tell you what a Percy Pig was, uh, give you some <laughs> nice English delicacies? Did they take you down the pub? How did they sort of immerse you in British life? Yeah, I mean, all of the above. Uh, it was... What's a Percy Pig? I, you know, I ate one one day on set, actually. <laughs> is that a, is that a, a sweet British thing? Spencer. Yeah, yeah. I, but it's a... And those aren't... American we at all, they're right? Expensive. And they're delicious. Okay. We yeah, I mean, I, I did have one. Somebody gave it to me on set. Is that why you said Percy Pig? Is that why you said that? Yeah, well, it's yeah. floating around the on the internet. Shit. There's, yeah. there's yeah, a Percy that. Pig eating scenarios. Yeah. So just wondering what other, what other <laughs> what things, things you were That's introduced really, to. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Sunday roast. Mm -hmm. You know, I had some of that. I used to just ride a bike around uh, London, and I loved that. Go to pottery and then mm -hmm. ride my bike back. Oh, not the same right. bike that's in the show. Not the same no. bike. This one had brakes. Yeah, we did a lot. Oh, you know, I went to an Arsenal <coughs> Tottenham game. <laughs> He's a Chelsea fan. Right? Right? But I, yeah, Carol's made me an honorary Chelsea Arsenal fan. Are you Arsenal or Tottenham? He's Chelsea. I'm Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh, you're Chelsea, but you went to an Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal. Oh, well, we didn't go together. Very disappointing. Right? I went with somebody else. <laughs> but it was exciting. It was the first time I'd ever seen a football game. It was a good game, too. It was a great game, yeah. So Callum told me uh, when we talked that he took the leather chairs from the POW camp office after the end did of filming. I, yeah. I did. Are they in your um, flat? Or in your they house? are, yeah. They're in the house, yeah. The so you, what did you uh, take as a memento? I don't think I took anything. I, I, I really just memories. Just fond, fond memories. That's lovely. <laughs>